Hello everyone. Welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about spontaneous awakening trial in short set. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed the channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the topic. The other names for spontaneous awakening trial are daily sedation interruptions, daily sedation vacation, daily sedation hold. Now, what is spontaneous awakening trial? Before that, we must know why mechanically ventilated patients are sedated. They are sedated to reduce the physiologic and psychological stress associated with respiratory failure and improve the tolerance of invasive life support measures. Spontaneous awakening trial is nothing but the ongoing sedation infusion or kept on hold in order to determine whether the patient requires ongoing sedation or can be managed without sedatives. Spontaneous awakening trial is one of the interventions which comes under WAP bundle. Now, what is the goal of spontaneous awakening trial? To minimize sedation in mechanically ventilated patients while maintaining adequate pain control. Spontaneous awakening trial consists of two parts. One is safety screen and one is trial. When the patient passes safety screen, then the awakening trial takes place. Now let's look into both in detail. So what is safety screen? Safety screen contains certain criteria which should not be present in patients in order to conduct awakening trial. Let's look into the criteria. No active seizures. Patients will be receiving sedation for active seizures and in such cases awakening trial cannot be conducted. Next is no alcohol withdrawal. No paralytic agents. No agitation. No myocardial ischemia in last 24 hours. No evidence of increased or abnormal intracranial pressure. So these are the criteria for safety screen and when these are not present then the awakening trial is conducted. Which is nothing but the ongoing sedation is stopped and the patient is observed. Now let's look into the steps in the spontaneous awakening trial where we can clearly understand what is safety screen and what is awakening trial. Here the first step is safety screen where the absence of all the criteria in the safety screen as mentioned before means that the patient passes. Even when one criteria is present it means the patient fails that is not safe to shut off patient's continuous analgesic or sedative infusions. And in such cases the patient will be reassessed after 24 hours. So, the patient who passed the safety screen will go for awakening trial which means to turn off all continuous sedative infusions. Now, the patient is observed. If the patient has any one of the SAT failure criteria such as anxiety, agitation, respiratory rate more than 35, SpO2 less than 88%, respiratory distress, acute cardiac arrhythmia, and ICP more than 20, then the patient fails the awakening trial. And in such cases, the sedation is restarted, if necessary, half the dose. When the patient doesn't fall under the sad failure criteria, it means that the patient pass, or even if the patient responds to verbal stimuli, it means that the patient pass. There are two ways in which the patient can pass the sad trial. The first one is, the patient passes the SAT trial by performing three out of four following tasks. Open their eyes, look at the caregiver, squeeze the hand, stick out tongue. In general, the patient follows simple commands. The second is, the patient passes the SAT trial if they can go without sedation for four hours without new symptoms or complications such as anxiety, agitation, respiratory rate more than 35, SpO2 less than 88%, two or more signs of respiratory distress like tachycardia, bradycardia, use of accessory muscles, marked dyspnea, abdominal paradox, 
diaphoresis, acute cardiac arrhythmias and ICP more than 20. Once the patient passes spontaneous awakening trial, then the next step is spontaneous breathing trial. Here, the patient undergoes two steps, safety screen and trial, and when the patient passes both, then he goes for extubation. Both spontaneous awakening trial and spontaneous breathing trial plays a major role in VAP prevention and it reduces the ventilator days. In many institutions, spontaneous awakening trial is conducted in early morning hours. So this is all about spontaneous awakening trial. If you find this video useful, please like it, share it and subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.